Good morning from day two. I'm trying to make my way back to the trail. Have to go through this foresty, shrubby place. I was staying back there where those houses are. And this is a little shortcut to get to the trail, which is right back there. After a bit of bush walking in there, finally got to the trail. That was an experience. But here we are, our sandy trail. Never leave it again. The lady from the place I was staying at gave me some snacks. So kind of her. tough going quite deep sand it looks like there was a fire over here some time ago even the sand is all black but life has found a way Look at those beautiful flowers. I mean, they do say not to do this in summer because it's very hot and there's risk of uh, fires. And well, there you go. Here's the proof. warnings for the next week which is what we love mostly wind which is already started and also rain if on the cliffs it's too windy we might have to resort to the inland roads but we'll see how it goes for now, we go down here.
managed to pass a big group so now I'm leading the way I took the executive decision to abandon the trail right there because it would have taken me back on the cliffs and I don't really think that it is safe enough with the wind so I took this white road um, a little bit halfway now and it's going to take me right on the main straight and then I will join the trail again a little further down I mean the main trail itself goes back onto the main road to Villa do Bispo which is right there so I'm not missing much I'm assuming this way is pretty much the same as this one uh, but yeah there's a reason those things are over there wind today is mad I mean, it's windy back here so I don't want to think what it's like on those cliffs well I am on a trail even though it's not my trail it's still the Rota Vicentina I don't know if you can see it right there but I think this is part of the E9 I think it is the European trail the one that goes all across Europe I think I can follow it that way because the main road is right there on top of that hilly thing and I think we're just going parallel to it for a bit until we join it so I might just go this way and join the main road later on and I think we're gonna cross with my trail coming from that way so all is good it all worked out in the end not now please not now don't fall down now how strong the wind can be I'm now officially back on the fisherman's trail so that is where I should have come from if I take the official route on the cliffs and I was right the red and white one is the GR GR11 or E9, the European long distance one. And I'm headed to Villa do Bispo, 3.5 kilometers, so not far. I think tomorrow I'll be heading that way 
if the wind allows it because there's a long bit on the coast all the way to Sagres and to the tippy tippy tip of Portugal and I'd love to be able to do it but if the wind continues I might go and have a look at the trail and see what it looks like if it's wide enough if it's not too close to the cliffs then I can do it Well, this is my house for the afternoon and night for the price holy 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 that's so nice Another bedroom. There's a balcony. I'm thinking it's too windy for the balcony, but oh well. Another bedroom. Bathroom. There is a bee day. I love Portugal because they have bee days. And kitchen. So nice. I mean, I could move here. There's another, oh, another little area to sit outside. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. There's such nice pictures as well. So nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to chill.